Dr. Amudabar, a rheumatologist and clinical immunologist, Pranagam. Rheumatologists are doctors who deal with diseases of the immune system. So there are many diseases known as autoimmune diseases, which people find difficult to understand. These diseases are the diseases which happen because our immune system starts targeting our internal organs. Some common symptoms which autoimmune diseases share include joint pain, joint swelling, stiffness in the morning lasting greater than 30 minutes, excessive hair fall, ulcers in the mouth which start happening at very frequent intervals. In addition to that, there can be photosensitivity in the skin. There can be difficulty in going out in the sun, rashes on the front part of the chest, the back. In addition, sometimes these diseases can affect critical internal organs like the heart, the kidney, the liver, which can lead to renal failure. It can also affect your heart, increases the risk of heart problems. So to understand these rheumatological diseases, we have to understand three broad categories. The first category is diseases which commonly we perceive in Indian common Hindi language as Gathya Badi or Gathya Bao. When patients have swelling in the joints, small joints of the hand, the feet, the knee, shoulder, ankle, because of which the difficulty in having performing daily life activities, their hands get swollen, they have a feverish feeling, they start losing weight, they don't feel like eating anything, their hemoglobin starts falling. So in this arthritis, there are very different types of arthritis, somewhere around 100 to 150 different types of arthritis. Some could be there just in the joint, some could involve the internal organs. Some examples are rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, scleroderma where the skin tightens and becomes like hard leather, MCTD. The second category of diseases are diseases which we call a soft tissue rheumatism. That is diseases wherein patient can have pain localized to one particular joint or in the muscles and tendons around the joint. Like in the elbow, it's called the tennis elbow, golfer's elbow. Sometimes patients can have severe pain in the hip, knee, back pain which radiates to either leg along with tingling and numbness in the digits. So all of these conditions fall in the category of soft tissue rheumatism. The third type of arthritis are the degenerative arthritis. That is which happen with age. The most common example of which is osteoarthritis where an elderly obese individual start complaining of knee pain, a sensation of locking in the knee, they have pain while climbing stairs, they are unable to sit squat legged. All these are common symptoms of osteoarthritis. Another type of degenerative arthritis could be when long-standing crystal arthritis, which common people call as gout, wherein the uric acid levels go up, the great toe of the foot swells up, the ankle, the knee swells up. And with repeated attacks of such gouty arthritis, patients' cartilage and bones can get damaged. In addition to these three different categories, as a pediatric rheumatologist, having a lot of exposure in pediatric diseases which affect children and are also autoimmune diseases, I specifically am an expert in managing these diseases as well, such as juvenile arthritis, that is arthritis happening in children, juvenile lupus, wherein children have renal involvement, their kidney shut down, their skin starts having rashes, they have hair fall, their uh, growth and development is getting affected. So all of these conditions and of course primary immunodeficiency disorders which is a disorder wherein the immune system of children gets affected. Small children start getting recurrent infections and they also have a problem with the immune system. They do not grow and develop as other normal children would. So by this video, my intention is to let you know when you should consult a rheumatologist who is an expert in managing this disorder and do not waste your time going to a physician, orthopedician or even if you do go there, identify when you need a rheumatologist. If your doctor is not referring you, ask for a referral, seek a rheumatologist care well in time. Thank you.